we can start by having a look at this scene where uh, I have prepared a trigger box. And in Blueprint, you can see here a basic system so that by overlapping the trigger box, I can first trigger a gate so I can open it and then play a looping audio file. Once the gate is open, I can press E and play this extract from an interview made with John Cage talking about his music and his conceptions about sound. When I hear what we call music, it's... Okay, we can have uh, a quick listen. When I hear what we call music, it seems to me that someone is talking. Now, of course, each audio file is playing at its own volume. But in video games, most of the time when someone is talking, we want the background music or environmental sounds to fade out so that they have a lower volume. And in that way, we can emphasize words and dialogues. To do so, we need to create, in my example, two sound classes one for the voice and the other one for the background music. So I can first create a new folder. I'm gonna call it tutorial ducking. And inside here I can create a first sound class for uh, the interview. So I'm gonna call it interview class. And the second one for the background music. We can now open the two audio files, in my case looping 01 and what we call music. Under sound you have the class setting. You can click here to open the drop down menu and search for the relative class. Then we can do the same process for uh, the other audio file and search for the interview sound class. Here it is. Now that each audio file is connected to its own sound class, we need to create a sound class mix. So we can go under sounds, classes, sound class mix. And we can call it interview music mix. Double click to open it. Under sound classes, you have the sound classes effects. You can uh, add elements. Since we have two classes, we are going to add two elements. In the first one, we add the background music. And for the second element, the other one. In this mix, we want the background music to be at a very low level, so we can set the volume adjuster to, let's say, 0.2. While all audio files connected to the interview class can stay at a default volume of 1. And of course, from here you can tweak other parameters such as pitch, or you can apply a low pass filter, or on top here you have an EQ with three bands, so it's up to you to tweak if you need to. At the very end we have sound mix, where we have initial delay, fade in uh, time, duration, fade out time. So what we want to do is set a fade in and fade out time. So I think I'm gonna set the fade in to 0.3, and the fade out to 0.5. If your duration value is set to minus one, it means that your sound mix will stay active indefinitely. So you, you'll have to turn it off manually. For us, this is fine. So we can move once again in the blueprint page and from the interview a spawn sound attach node, we can drag out and connect it to a push sound mix modifier. And under in sound, we can select the sound class mix. And we can play the game. 
When I hear what we call music, it seems to me that someone is talking. As you have probably heard, we activated our sound mix, but we never stopped it. So to fix that, we need to detect when the voice audio file has finished. So we can drag out from the return value of our spawn sound attached and create a bent event to on audio finished. We can now break the link with our push matrix, connect the spawn sound attached to a sequence, send its first output to the push sound matrix and the other one to the bind event to on audio finished. Now we can drag out from the event input, add event, add custom event, interview, finished. So when the audio file from the interview has finished, the bind event to on audio finish will produce a custom event, which will produce a trigger. So we can send this trigger to a pop sound mix modifier. And under in sound mix modifier, we can select interview music mix. Now we can play the game and listen to the final result. When I hear what we call music, it seems to me that someone is talking. Great. Now, if we had to apply this system for each audio file in a real video game, well, it would be really time demanding. The solution is to use passive mixes. So we can get rid of all this section, move in the content browser, double click over the class uh, connected to the audio files you want to emphasize, double click on it. And under general, you have passive sound mix modifiers, which is a settings that is automatically called when the audio file of this sound class is uh, used. So we can add an element, expand this drop down menu. And under sound mix, we can apply interview music mix. The minimum and maximum volume thresholds are used to define at which level you want the sound mix to be activated. Since these values 0, 10 are not in decibel scales, you need to tweak these parameters to find the perfect settings for your needs. But if you just want to apply this sound mix every time a audio file from the interview class is called, you can simply leave minimum and maximum value as they are here, so 0 and 10. When I hear what we call music, it seems to me that someone is talking. Mm -hmm. 